Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. Imagine coming home after having a long day and jumping on your bed. The comfort of your bed feels like that one thing that you would have been thinking about throughout your day. Now, what if you didn't have a comfy bed or had to sit on the ground? Well, that would be highly discomforting. The bed gives the comfort which the floor doesn't. The beds are made more comfortable by the filler material that is used and sometimes they also use springs in them. When we push on these springs, they get squeezed and when the pressure is released, the spring is restored back to its original shape. We don't actually realize it, but a lot of our daily use items have springs in them. These include things like our watches, remotes, automobiles, garage doors, and a lot of other items. In this video, we will explain to you what springs are and what are their various types. We will further discuss each of them in detail. So the first question, what are springs? Springs are mechanical devices that deflect or compress when a load is applied on it and restores to its original shape when that load is removed. It's used for pulling, pushing, winding, supporting, and sometimes lifting. Depending on the need, springs are classified into the following major types. Helical spring, torsion spring, conical and volute spring, laminated or leaf spring, disc or belleville spring, and special purpose springs. Let's start with helical springs. Helical springs are the most commonly used springs. As the name suggests, these springs are in the shape of a helix. This type of springs can store energy when it is compressed and releases the energy when the compressive force is released. It can also withstand forces when it is pulled. These types of springs are commonly seen in the suspensions of automobiles. They are further divided into closed coil helical springs and open coil helical springs. In a closed coil helical spring, the helices are placed at an angle less than 10 degrees and each coil is aligned over each other. They are usually employed in areas where stretching needs to be resisted. For example, garage door assemblies, vice grip pliers, etc. Open coil helical springs, on the other hand, have the helices placed at an angle greater than 10 degrees. They are used to resist compression and are also known as compression springs. These are used in auto injectors, ballpoint pens, etc. Next, we have torsion springs. A torsion spring is similar to a closed loop helical spring, except that in this spring, the ends of the spring are extended away from the axis of the spring in a non helical manner. They are used to store twisting force. If you noticed a cloth clip, then you would have observed that when you press the ends of the clips, the clip gets widened. As soon as you release the ends, the clip is restored back to its original position. In torsion springs, a torque is developed in the opposite direction which helps the spring to restore back to its original position. These springs also find their application in mouse traps, door hinges, etc. The next type of spring is the conical and volute springs. You would have noticed these springs when you inserted new batteries into your TV remote. These type of springs are also termed as conical springs. Conical springs are similar to helical springs. When loaded upon, they compress a lot more than helical springs. They are used in battery contacts, garden actuators, etc. Volute springs are similar to conical springs. When compressed, the smaller coils slide inside the larger coils. They are used in places where large compressive forces are to be exerted on small areas. The fourth type of spring is the laminated or leaf spring. When traveling on the road in an automobile, it is quite well known that we will experience the undulations in the road. To reduce the impact of these undulations, laminated or leaf springs are used in cars and other larger automobiles. These springs are made of metal and are arranged one over the other. They are held together by nuts and bolts or clamps. They are capable of withstanding large forces in small areas. Whenever the vehicle encounters a bump, it is taken care of by the leaf springs. For heavy vehicles, helical springs are not preferred because they are not as stable as leaf springs. The fifth type of spring is a disc or bell wheel spring. These springs are in the shape of a disc. When we use a screw, there is a round disc-shaped metal which is placed before tightening it. This disc-shaped metal is called the disc or bell wheel spring. They are used to bolt the screw from vibrating loose. Finally, we have the special purpose springs. These springs are not widely used but are employed only for a specific purpose. Under this category, we have air springs used in vehicle suspension systems, gas springs used to damp forces and return kinetic energy, greater springs used in oil seals, electric connectors, etc. So that's all about the various types of springs. Hopefully, this video will help you trace the different types of spring in the future.
What kind of springs do you think are used in mattresses? Let us know in the comment section below. Until we meet next time, bye.